Welcome, welcome to Sunday service. Today is January 9th, 2022. Welcome to the new year, guys. This is second episode of the year. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about where do subject to deals come from? Are they just like the magical unicorn fairy? I think they, they come just, from a stork. Like a stork brings them through. Like That's where they come from. <laughs> drops the bag. A stork. A stork. <laughs> Um, where do sub two deals come from? How do I find sub two deals? What's the best way to go get sub two deals? I think I'm going to throw a curveball for Cody. Cause he sent me a text message and he says, <laughs> don't tell, don't throw me a curveball." What I'm going to do, Cody is I'm going to do, um, I'm going to have you pull three lists today. Okay. Both two of them are in monsoon, I believe. And I'm not a real estate agent, so I don't know how to pull both of these. You do. Um, one of them is going to be expired listings. Do you know how to pull those? I have not done that in over a year, but I will figure it out. Oh, I love that. Okay, perfect. That'll be fun. So that's the curveball <laughs> I'm going to throw for you. Um, I want to go into um, MLS and also pull foreclosures and show you, so everybody what that looks like. And there's a lot of people that are going to go, I don't have access to the MLS. Well, we're going to give you a solution for that today. And then the third thing we're going to be doing, actually, we're going to do this one first is we're going to go into batchleads.io forward slash pace for coupon code. Yes, we do get paid on that. I think we get paid $5 for every time somebody signs up. Batchleads.io forward slash pace. Um, I am excited because we're going to be giving you guys the list. These are going to be in Arizona. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving you guys the lists for these houses. These are the top three places to get deals on sub two deals. Okay expired listings, people that are going through foreclosure or some sort of hardship, people that are going, uh, have no equity. Okay. Those are th the three best places to get sub two deals. The number one best place to get sub two deals, foreclosures. Foreclosures are back. They have been back for a good amount of time. And so we're going to be pulling those lists we have been saving people from foreclosure, I say, every single week for the last couple of months because foreclosures are now hitting the market again, and the government are, is allowing them to actually take place. All right, so here we go, guys. We are going to have fun. Uh, yep, well, Claudio, for me personally, Claudio says, where do you get sub-two deals? Where I've been getting the majority of our sub-two deals has been from sub-two students the last several months because we've been super, super busy and we haven't been marketing outside of the state. We've been only marketing in North Carolina and Arizona. We used to market in Atlanta and Florida, but we got so busy with the TV show and all these other things that I actually started re re relying on the sub two students to bring us deals. And it's been very, very successful. And in fact, I bought a deal because of you, Claudio, recently. I bought a deal because of Munif, Noah Hoffman, Christina, Tanisha, a whole bunch of other students as well recently. Cody and I have multiple, multiple deals from sub two students. So if you are not a sub two student, how can I get in touch with a sub two student? Easy. Write this one down. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash creative finance with Pace Morby. Go in there and say, I'm looking for Pace's students. I want to buy a sub two deal. There you go. There's your answer. Stop DMing me and asking me for deals. Ask my students for deals because it happens all the time. All right. That's number one. Now that that's out of the way, let's pull some lists. What we're going to be doing today, guys, is we are going to be pulling lists and I'm going to be answering questions along the way because Cody will be doing some screen sharing, showing you guys MLS. Okay, now here we go. Um, this is, dude, check this out. Angel uh, Leva um, today had a student, Dante Smith, been trying to wholesale for years, bro. Comes into my four-hour Zoom today, did a Q&A. Uh, yes, it is Sunday. Yes, I do Q&As on Sundays with my students because my students are dope. I do a Q&A today with Dante, and Dante comes in and he goes, I got my first deal, Pace. I go, bro, what was the deal? He's like, thanks to you, I got my first deal wholesaling a Novation Agreement. <laughs> That's crazy. And when I hear people, some of them are my friends, when I hear people on YouTube and Instagram and all this stuff saying, start with wholesale, it's much easier. I'm like, uh, yeah, right. Are you kidding me? Creative finance is by far the easiest way to get into real estate. It is the easiest way to get your first deal. 
Yes, you can assign a novation agreement. Have dozens and dozens and dozens of students that primarily focus on this strategy alone. Angel, go and watch my Get Creative podcast with Chuck. You will see how uh, his name is Chuck Mother Effing Billy on Instagram. <laughs> he had one novation agreement he made like $300,000 on um, in 2021. Um, but yeah, he assigns sub, he assigns novation agreements as well. Yes, the answer is yes, you can. So today we are not doing novation agreements. We are trying to keep in succinct growth. Last week we were talking about what is sub two. This week we're talking about where to find a sub two deal. So everybody in the side chat, the number one best place to find sub two deals is from sub two students. Please throw that in the chat. Make us happy. Make us realize that you're paying attention to us. We've got well over 400 people watching live tonight, so thank you so much. We'll probably get to about 500, 550 before the end of the show. That, that's number one. Number one best place to get um, sub two deals is existing sub two students who are trained and know what the hell they're doing. Go to them. That's where I go to get some of my sub two deals as well. All right, Cody and I make thousands of dollars a month because sub two deals sell us cash flowing properties. All right, number two, best place to get sub two deals is batchleads.io forward slash pace. Hey guys, we are not going to be talking. Christian Larco, you have obviously not been paying attention to the Sunday service for the last couple of weeks, brother. I'm going to karate chop you just real quick. <laughs> guys, please, please do not ask us questions about novation agreements. This is actually why we have reset the button on starting over. Three weeks ago, we started on what is creative finance and y'all are asking questions about novation agreements. We are going to get novation agreements in, we're going to talk about them in the next couple of weeks. Please do not ask questions about novation agreements tonight. Do not ask questions about wraps. Ask us questions about sub two deals and where they come from so we can stay on topic. Don't make me karate chop you through the screen. All right. So number one, best place to find sub two deals. I've said this now four times, but again, Cody and I've learned if you don't, if you haven't said something seven times, you haven't said it one freaking time at all i'm gonna ask in eight minutes where do i find these lists but where do i get the deals number one best place to get a sub two deal is existing sub two students okay <laughs> go to the free, the free facebook group the free facebook group was created specifically so cody and my students could interact with non-students and help out all right so that's number one number two is batchleads.io forward slash pace Again, being fully transparent, we now have 150 people more watching than at the beginning of the show. If you guys hear um, us ever give you a code, you're either two, one of two things is happening. You're either getting a discount and I'm not getting paid for it, or your discount, you're getting a discount and we are getting paid for it. And batchleads.io forward slash pace, Cody and I probably get one sushi dinner a month out of that coupon code. Okay, we do get paid. You guys sign up for bachelorleads.io forward slash pace. We get paid five bucks. I call it our sushi money. So, Cody, why are we, what are we going to do on batch leads? What lists are we going to pull? So, we're going to go ahead and pull on batch leads a pre foreclosure list because that's one of the best lists, just in general, for you know, if, if you're listening in and you're brand new and whether you're trying to get a subject to deal or not. The pre foreclosure list is great because these people are already, they've already raised their hand, whether they like it or not, that there is some sort of financial distress or some sort of situation occurring. And it's our job as real estate investors to be able to contact those people and see how we can provide a solution for them. And it's, there is no other list that is as powerful as the pre foreclosures because pretty much every other list aren't raising their hand saying, Hey, you know, I, I definitely uh, have, a, you know, some financial situation going on that, you know, more than the pre foreclosure. So that's what we are going to um, go ahead and pull tonight. It's kind of like if I was like, I want to date a farmer, where should I go to date a farmer? <laughs> Not Christian Mingle. It should be uh, farmers only. There you go. Farmers only.com guys. So if I want to go <laughs> pour, pull foreclosures, I want to get sub two deals. I'm not going to go to the MLS typically. All right. I'm not going to go to a listed property. Typically that's yeah. like, I want to date a farmer. Yo, you're not going to Christian mingles. You're going to farmers only.com. Let's get really <laughs> specific about where we get these lists. So a lot of people ask us, why do you use prop stream and batch leads? Why do you use prop stream and batch leads and MLS? Well, guys, it's the same reason y'all are using Tinder bumble 
Um, uh, farmers only. Grinder. What are the other ones? Cranker. <laughs> oh, grinder. I'm like cranker. What's cranker? I'd never heard of cranker. <laughs> Um, so multi, every single company specializes a little bit more in each list. And I would tell you that the pre foreclosure list with batch leads is the best. Okay. So batch leads.io forward slash pace. Cody, pull that up and let's go through the process of pulling up the foreclosures. I'm going to answer a couple of questions as you pull that up. Feel free to share your screen right now as you open it up. Um, by the way, will you log into my account? Do you know how? Oh, bro. Just I'm go already, to batch. Are you already in, in my stuff? I'm already in, in the company account. Can you log out and log into mine? Yeah, I can do that. Let's log into mine so I, you can spend money because I want to give it away. Okay. I wonder if it'll pre-auto populate. Yeah, Are you I in there right it. now? Yeah, I'm in. Dope, bro. Okay, cool. So let me answer a couple of questions just real quick. Um, Horacio yeah. Flores says, are you talking about the private sub two group? No, Horacio, I, you must have sneezed when we gave you this answer. You must Actually, you might have sneezed seven times because we said this seven times. How do I, if I'm a non-student, how do I go find students? You go to either A, Sunday service, and you go in the side chat. A lot of our students are in here. Or two, you go to the free Facebook group, Creative Finance with Pace Morby is the name of that free Facebook group, all right? It's where a lot of people hang out. We're at 37,000 members. 95, 97% of those members still log in every single quarter. So it's a very, very active Facebook group. Um, now, there's a really good one right here, okay? Um, a really good question I want to bring up. Um, she says that she was talking to a seller and the seller said, I got to make sure that this is, I got to highlight her because she had a great question. Here we are, Carmen. So Carmen, your question is on the screen. She says, I had a seller tell me no to a sub two deal because it's too complicated in his opinion. Write this one down, Carmen, because I'm going to tell you the only three reasons why a seller won't sell to you on subject two or seller finance. I'm going to tell it to you right now, right now, write it down on your, in your journal, write it down in your, whatever you want to write it down in. All right. Cody actually does write things down in a journal. So I'm mostly teasing him with that comment. I had a seller tell me no to a sub two deal because it's too complicated in his opinion. Number one, here's the three reasons why a seller won't sell to you on seller finance. Seller finance subject to is a form of seller finance. So we'll just call it one umbrella. Three reasons why a seller doesn't sell to you on seller finance, Carmen. Number one, you are horrible at explaining it. You have zero confidence. Your ability to communicate the concept to the seller does not give the seller confidence and he doesn't understand what your what how it benefits him. That's number one. You have not done a good enough job. Now, I'm not saying that to you, Carmen, specifically. I'm just saying you as the general public. If a seller says no to sub two, it's because one, number one, 90 plus percent of the time when somebody, my students, like a lot of my new students come in and go, I'm having a hard time. The seller won't blah, 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 blah. I go, get me on the phone with the seller. And a lot of the times you guys see my really, really popular seller calls are because somebody already told me the seller said no to sub two. And I'm like, it's because you did a poor job of explaining it. You don't understand the process in which you need to convey it. You don't just, and by the way, most of the time when I get a sub two deal done, I don't even say the word sub two, subject two, creative finance. None of that stuff is said. All right. So that's number one. Number two, the seller needs money right now. They need money, not want money. They need money. They have a surgery coming up. They have a wedding coming up. They need money right now. And a sub two does not serve them by taking long-term payments over a long period of time. Number three, the third reason is because they have zero pain and they're, they're not going to sell to a cash buyer either. You're just talking to somebody that doesn't have any pain, no motivation. So really, at the end of the day, if you have a seller has motivation, it's one of those two things. Either A, you're not doing a good job explaining it. You haven't been educated. You haven't done enough repetition, which is why in our mentorship, our daily dial, we repeat and repeat and we repeat. We go through these things. So our, our students go out and they're trained freaking killers. That's number one. Number two, seller needs money right now. All right, Cody, what are we looking at right now? All right. So... <clears throat> I, I want to keep it. I want to go a little bit slower for some people that have maybe seen this for the first time. They're like, what the F is this on the screen? Like, what, what is this? Right. So let me, um, let me cut you off real quick. Cause I want to make sure people understand what is in store for them. 
Yeah, yep. yeah, as they watch Cody go through this, um, he's going to go a little slower because we want to make sure people come and watch this in the future and we can direct them exactly to this in the future. And I don't want to feel like we're skipping over everything. So right now we have 550 live people watching us. So thank you guys for all tuning in. We really appreciate you. Please share this. Please like this. Please make some comments. Give us some love. We are going to spend probably $1,000 tonight, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this list that we pull, and I'm going to give it away to my sub two students to call on this list. What they're going to do is they're going to – my team, Cody and my team, is going to help close those deals in Arizona for people who are calling on this list. It's a foreclosure list. These people are in absolute pain. I guarantee you we will get a deal out of this list this week. Guaranteed. All right? Guaranteed we'll get a, a deal out of this list this week. What we're going to do is we're going to take this list that Cody pulls. We're going to skip trace it. We're going to show you guys how to do it. Super simple. We're going to give it to the sub two students. And if you are a non-sub two student, it would behoove you. That means benefit you. I just, that's the word of the day. I pulled up the calendar. I have this calendar that has it says word of the day. But who is use the it word at least of the like day. three times or something or what? I have to use it three times. That's number one. You guys are gonna hear it two more times tonight. Okay. Um, so it would behoove you, that's number two. It, it would behoove you to be benefit, it would it would benefit you to link in with another sub two student because by tonight, my sub two students will have a Google Drive link that Cody uploads, and we're gonna share it out there. And you guys, if you're smart. You guys will collaborate with each other on that list, call on that list, and build friendships to do deals together. So, Cody, that being said, we're at 550 people. Everybody's ready to get bored out of their mind. They want to see exactly how to pull a sub two list called pre foreclosures from batchleads.io forward slash pace. Love it. Let's do it. Okay. So, um, for those of you that maybe have never seen this platform before, we are just on the dashboard of batchleads.io um, for tough space. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the list of pre foreclosures. So let's go ahead and just go to list search. It's pretty simple once you're logged in. And what we're going to do is we want uh, Maricopa uh, County in Arizona. That's where we're doing a lot of our deals. That's where we're buying a lot of our deals. So that's that's the area that we're going to go ahead and pull. People from Atlanta are looking at this and they're like, okay, where's the city? It just looks like a desert. <laughs> like There's, there's people crazy. that live over here. <laughs> yeah, we live in a freaking desert. There's no trees around. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not a ton of green besides the farms and the outskirts. Okay, so <clears throat> for those of you that maybe just missed what I did there, we are pulling Maricopa County. <clears throat> so you can search by county. You can do a boundary search where you can, you know, draw the different areas that you want to specifically search. If you want a specific subdivision that you want to work leads in or, you know, what, what have you. It, and it would behoove you to yes. not segment your list based on the county that you want to, <laughs> to work in. So um, I'm going to do the uh, I'm going to do the Cody late uh, Cody lazy thing and just use the quick filters. This is what is one of the great things about batch leads is you used to have to like segment and sort through exactly, you know, how to get to the pre foreclosures. But now what they found is there's some of the lists that are very common that people are pulling all the time and pre foreclosures happens to be one of those. So literally Maricopa County, and all I'm going to do is click on pre foreclosures. And voila, we have up here, if you look in the top right corner, we have 1,148 properties that are in a pre foreclosure status. So what are we gonna do with these Pace? What's, what, what are we gonna do with this list that we're gonna pull? I imagine we're gonna skip trace them, but I can't imagine it's really that easy. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's gotten, you know, more simpler and more simpler. That's, you know, the, the, um, the team at batch has done a great job, you know, making it easy here, but, um, all I did, I clicked select all. So I have this whole list selected of 1,148. Um, so pretty, I mean, pretty simple there and I am going to create a list. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call it, um, AZ, 
<clears throat> pre foreclosures. Just simple. Actually, I'm going to do a Maricopa County. Maricopa County pre foreclosures. And then I'll probably, because I know there's probably some other pre foreclosures that are in here from other lists that have been pulled. So I'm just going to tag this as Sunday service pre foreclosures. And so somebody's probably sitting there, what the heck, what, what's the difference between a list and a tag? Well, the best way to understand like the difference between like a list and a tag on batch leads when you're looking at this is imagine your list is like a filing cabinet. So like you have the filing cabinet and then when you open up one of your files, your tag or like the different tags within that filing cabinet. And so you're tagging information within the list that you pulled. So that's essentially what we're doing there. Um, let me answer this question just really yeah, quick. Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll keep going. So Jonathan Castano, he says, hey, Pace, as a buyer looking for sub two deals, how would I, as a buyer, know the paperwork and communication to the seller was done properly before taking over sub two? Um, you would know if you were a sub two student. This week alone, we trained seven hours live on real sub two deals in Zooms led by me. Seven hours. We went through two completely se separate transactions on live sub two deals, walking through the paperwork with my transaction coordinator. So that would probably be the best one is actually get trained. Guys, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of uh, something that's going to shock you. YouTube is for entertainment. It is not for education. You're not going to get educated there. You're not going to be part of a community. That's the tough thing about YouTube is it really doesn't allow us to connect at the level we want to connect. That's why people join mentorships. Now, I'm not telling you to join my mentorship, but that's how my students know they did the right thing is that they're constantly trained. They have my transaction coordinator in my Facebook group to leverage and ask questions of. That is the real answer. Um, I will never, mark my words, never release sub two paperwork to the general public and I will never release training to the general public about sub two paperwork. It has cost Cody and I, bro, we just cut a check for like $6,200 the other day to our attorney. It has cost us probably $80,000 just on our sub two paperwork to draft it multiple times over the years and years we've been doing this. I am not willing and I just physically, it takes seven hours this week alone. This week alone, we did seven hours of training. And if you're a sub two student in the side chat that joined us for those live trainings on sub two paperwork, please let everybody know you're a sub two student, Jonathan or other people that are potentially not students. They need to be able to say, I need to do my first deal with a sub two student who is trained if I don't want to join a mentorship. All right. But that is why people join mentorships is so that they switch from entertainment to actual education. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. But I wanted to clarify that because everybody asks about paper. I ain't get, I ain't going to give it away and I'm not going to train about it. That's it. Sorry. Keep going. Love it. So, so now what we're doing is I pulled that, I pulled that list of the pre foreclosures. And so where those are now going to go is we were under the list search. Now we're going to go into like my property. So this is like the section of all of the properties that I've either uploaded or pulled directly from batch. Um, and, and it sits in there and this is where I'm stacking and organizing that data is under the property section. So when we jump over to the properties, um, there's so many different things on here. I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed with all of the, the things going on. So what I'm simply going to do, and it may still be uploading. So we'll see if it's finished because there's about 1100 of them here. So let's, let's take a look guys. So, um, I'm going to just click on it under the section of tags. Cause remember, um, I'm, I'm looking exclusively for the list of the properties that were tagged for Sunday service. So I'm just going to search that and let's see what comes up. All right, so we have 1,124. So it looks like all of the records came through. And so now what we're gonna do, so now I have this information here. Now I actually need to skip trace it. So what I'm gonna do is go to skip trace. To do Sunday service pre foreclosures. And I am, recharge so I need $112 so I'm just going to add 150 in here
All right. So you are, um, we're going to give this list away. Yep. And we got 1,100 people in active foreclosure right now. That's great. Yeah. There was, there was a point during COVID, it was way down to like two or 300 because there was just yep. no foreclosures weren't happening. This is awesome. Yep. Am, so. am I a jerk for being happy that foreclosures are back? Because I'm not sure how to feel about that. Yeah. I mean, there there's multiple sides. I mean, the side for us is we're going to go and help a lot of people, but there are a lot of people that, you know, are, are struggling and, you know, that's, that's what, we, you know, we got to do is go help them out of that situation. So I think that's something to be excited about is we get to be the ones that can go help these people. Um, obviously it's not a great situation, but you know, what do you do? They're in the situation regardless. Right. Um, uh, question. Christopher says, man, I was in a mentorship where they kicked me out after oh, six oh my months. Gosh. Bro, I'm so sorry. That's not how we operate. I actually don't know a mentorship that does what, uh, what we do. Same thing with our mastermind students. Uh, Cody and I made a long vision with our mastermind students that we want once a mastermind student, always a mastermind student. I'm in a mass. I'm in three masterminds right now. One costs 30 grand a year. Another one is 15 and another one is 25 grand a year, a year. Our students and our mastermind people pay one time. They're in for life. And what's great is they get to continually be promoted in Sunday service. They get to be the people to help out the free group in, in Facebook forever. This week alone, dude, I, I probably did 23, 24 hours of Zooms with my students just this week. And a lot of the students have been in the program with Cody and I for over a year and a half. There's no monthly costs other than just being a leader and stepping up to help other people. That's the only cost. Tris Flora says, when will you open up another mastermind? Possibly never. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cody, what do we got? All right. So um, I did click to another screen here. I don't want you guys to get confused on what I just did. But basically, um, I was under the properties tab and I just jumped over to the skip trace section. So what I'm viewing on this section are these are all past lists of, uh, you know, of the ones that we've skip traced in the past. Um, and then... So what we're taking a look at here is the Sunday service pre foreclosures. We are just waiting for that status. It's in the processing queue. It's getting heated up and getting ready to be done. There it is. So it's already completed. So hey, will you do me a favor? You see the one, I see that one right there. It says West Palm beach. That must be a Kelly Hanno thing. Yeah. She went in there and dropped a thousand dollars of my money. Um, Kelly Hanno, kudos to you. <laughs> Good job. You jump in my private little bat. So guys, I have, we have two different batch leads account, one for pace to just give stuff away to people. And another one for, um, Cody and I, uh, or another one for our business. Okay. Here's what I want to do. Cody download. Can, how fast can you download all these lists pretty quickly Wait, or no? Like all everyone on here or just, just the like ones West on the front page. It's like how much money it's like. Three thousand, four thousand dollars of lists. Well, these were already, yeah, these were already paid. I mean, we could pull like the, uh, yeah. I mean, we could pull all the bigger record ones. I don't think many people want to do have the past West Palm Beach, okay. do West Palm Beach, and the Fort Wayne, and the um, Dallas, the Dallas one that's two hundred nine bucks, and that'll total three thirty one hundred dollars in list cost that we spent, and we're going to give it away. Just down, oh, okay. Do, 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 Let's so. pull those. So you're pull. what you're gonna do is you're gonna download those to your to the desktop. Download that guy. We're gonna download this guy, and then we'll download freaking Kelly Hanno. I'm. I think we did that on a live or something. I. If I that's remember. why I wasn't able to pay my mortgage payment this month, bro. <laughs> you you guys spent a thousand dollars of my personal cash. Uh, and Fort Wayne. Okay. Um, all right. Love it. So let's pull those and let's give those away. But guys, these other lists are not that you will get sub two deals out of every list. Okay. Let me be very, very clear to you. You will get sub two seller finance and novation agreement um, deals out of every single list. You will, you absolutely will. But the highest likelihood of you getting a sub two deal, if that's what you want to focus on and you want to start acquiring rentals or you want to start wholesaling creative finance deals, you want to get your practice, dude, tomorrow, Literally, if we set Matt loose on this foreclosure list, these 1,100 people tomorrow, Matt's going out and getting a contract. I can guarantee it. In fact, I would bet somebody, I would challenge somebody $500 tomorrow if Matt doesn't get a contract out of that list. That's how fast he'll get a, a, a sub two deal out of that list, okay? So Cody's going to compile those lists. We're going to upload those to Google Drive and we're going to give those away. 
So what I would be doing is I would be linking in with sub two students and I would um, be saying, hey, can I call on that list? Can I get practice with you? I'm not a student. I, I, I can't be a student, but I, I, I want to work with you guys. I want to collab with you guys. I want to get some repetition. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, you are now you're already allowing my st Cody's got full control of my computer right now, guys. Love it. I was trying to put it into a file and I have uh, your email here. See, this is what I like about this. Um, Dion says, these guys pay us to be in the mentorship every day. Last year, Cody and I, check this out. Last year, Cody and I spent about $200,000 in just lists. And the realtor database alone was like 18 grand. We gave every one of our students in sub two and mastermind students the full realtor database. It cost us 18 grand. Then we just continually give list after list, resource after resource after resource after resource. The best list that we gave away, dude, that one hurt me. It was that North Carolina mobile home list. Yeah. 25 that, that. G's on that one list. 25 G's, bro. It's a good thing I got. I got Amex points on that bad boy. <laughs> 25 G's on one list that you and I never called on, but you know how many deals got done out of that thing? Literally that first week, um, Ted Miller got like three or four deals. Just one student got three or four deals out of it. Ted Miller, mastermind student. Amazing. Amazing. And people are still getting deals out of that same list like five, six months later. It's amazing. So Mark Cheng says, I'm not a student. I want to get reps in. I'm in California. So Mark, what you need to be doing is link it. You'll, everybody that's a student, okay? Everybody that's a student right now, say, I'm a sub two student. Throw up your peace sign. Throw up your phone number. Throw up your Instagram handle. Throw up whatever you got to throw up so that non-students can link in with you. We're trying to get you guys free labor. You know what I'm saying? Like, forget about hiring people. Let's just leverage the community. That's what this is all about. Okay. Brian Catalan, I love you, brother, but you got to make sure you actually put your information in the side chat. Okay. Catal Brian Catalan, great, sweet guy. Put your information in, guys, your email, your phone numbers. Like, people got to reach out to you. It, YouTube is not great for this. Okay. People, there's no way for people to reach out to you on YouTube. So put your information in YouTube. So that people can't, people will be, wait, it will, guys, it would behoove you to put your information in the side chat so that people can reach out to you and get this $3,000 list. All right. We just paid you $3,000 to be here at Sunday service. Y'all broke asses. All right. Who else is giving stuff away? Nobody. They're giving away. Here's my free script. Oh yeah. Here's, here's my free script. That's what I need right now. I need a free script. <laughs> uh, Cody and I have jokes guys. Um, okay. So Cody, we, we just showed it. Was it, is it literally that easy? Yeah, we have a list. We have, now, now you can go text it. You can cold call it, have your vir uh, virtual assistants from start virtual cold call it. You have, you have the data. You, you skip, you pull the list, you skip trace the list. You have their phone numbers now. And that literally, I mean, going through it, I, I went a little bit slower to show everybody, but that was like five minutes. It's I kind of feel like we really need the next week's show. This is what I'm thinking we do. I think we call, we, we talk about the script about how to reach out to a seller for the first time on a foreclosure. What do you Ooh. think if we have Matt come in as a special guest, we talk about, um, what our VA say when they call and what we say when we used to call and we go through the script. Maybe we'll bring in like Dan Quijano, you know, maybe we'll bring somebody in and we'll talk about, Hey, now I've got a list. I don't know what to do with it except just hold the list. What do you think? <laughs> yes. No, I love that. I think it's a great idea. We're at 565 live viewers. So thank you guys so much. This does mean a lot to us. You guys know how much money we made on YouTube last month? It doesn't matter. We just give all the money away. So who cares? <laughs> I think I made like a hundred bucks. <laughs> I made, I made $4,700 and I gave it away to all of our employees. My wife's like, are you making you, are you making money on YouTube yet? I was like, well, somebody is. So, someone is, I don't know who, but somebody. <laughs> okay. So guys, um, we are going to next week. This is what I, I think we do. We, we, we talk about what sub two deals are, which was what we did last week. This week we talk, we're talking about where deals 
where the deals come from. We just showed you first, first step, pre-foreclosures. Next week, I think what we do is we focus on how to talk to pre-foreclosures and set up an appointment and maybe open up the dialogue about sub two. What do you think, Cody? You think that's the right way to go? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, I look at pre-foreclosures and that is still like, it's, I think it's the best way for somebody new to be able to get a deal. I mean, that that when when there wasn't all of this technology, everyone, there wasn't batch leads. Batch leads didn't even exist when I was going after my first deal. When I had to pull pre-foreclosures, I had to pull the pre-foreclosures from Monsoon and then I sorted them by zip code and then printed out that Excel sheet by sorted by zip code. And then I would put into MapQuest a route to go and door knock all of those people. And then would then I would go door knock them and I would make notes literally on the Excel sheet that I printed out. And now you can just freaking pull all of this information on here and get it in three minutes. Just that's so let's go through what monsoon is because most yeah. people are not gonna know what monsoon is. Yeah. Yep. And they're gonna so, be like, How do I get access to monsoon? How do I, I get it? This monsoon thing. <laughs> so in the state of Arizona, um I'll I'll share uh, da, 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 da. I'll share my screen again here. Let me pull this back up. So in the state of Arizona, we have something called Armless Arizona. I think it stands for Arizona Realtor something, something, MLS, Multiple Listing Service. So I have my real estate license. And so I am able to get access to MLS data. And so um, obviously you're sitting there and you're like, I'm not a realtor. I can't get access to this. Well, Make friends with a realtor, bring value to a realtor so that they can get this information for you. Because if you're really tight for cash and you're just like, dude, Cody, Pace, I don't have any cash. I'm broke as a joke right now. I, 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 I can't afford to you know, pay for anything right now. Well, you can get a realtor in your market, pull up their MLS, obviously, depending on the market have them pull up the pre-foreclosures that they can pull directly from there. And that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do in Arizona. I, I want you pull that up real quick and get logged in MLS. What I want to do. Okay. I want to talk about what you just brought up. It was so critical, dude. It's like the greatest advice ever. I think it's the best advice tonight and it would behoove you guys to pay attention to this. <laughs> Okay, so here's here's the advice. The advice is don't be a silly human being and think that you got to do this business on your own. In fact, it's impossible for you to do this business on your own, okay? How do I get access to MLS data? Well, I can tell you right now, I know a lot of my students right now in here are licensed realtors all over the nation, okay? Cody and I educate a lot of licensed realtors that got their license, not even to be a realtor. They got their license just to get access to the MLS. Okay. Yep. So what does that mean for you? It means if you are squatting up, which means networking, it's a very gangster way of saying networking. If you guys are squatting up with each other and you're networking with people, you are going to be able to get these types of lists basically for free. Okay. You don't need batch leads to get pre foreclosures and you don't need batch leads to get expired listings. Typically expired listings come from the multiple listing service that only realtors have access to. So if I want access to the MLS and I don't want to become a realtor, the obvious thing to do is to go talk to a realtor. So like medium wave Dave, I know is in here, medium wave Dave, one of our mastermind students is a licensed realtor. So wouldn't it behoove me to become friends with him? By the way, guys, I've now broken the record. I've said behoove seven times on this live. Okay. All right, Cody, show us what you got. Make it bigger. Do Apple plus, plus, plus. Do you know what the new command plus, 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 plus on the keyboard? Do you know how to do that? So command is next to the keyboard and then plus is up there by the zero on the key. There you go. Come on. Hold it, hold them out down at the same time. Hold down command and then go over to plus, plus, plus by the delete button. Cody's learning technology, guys. You can't figure it out? Do 
You were muted, dude. You're muted. I can't hear you. You accidentally muted yourself. What are you saying? I muted myself because the dogs were barking. Oh, nobody cares about that, bro. The dog who let the dogs out. Let's go. <clears throat> I I figured it out, everyone. Oh, here we go. Yes, guys, you figured it out. Okay, so this little screen you're showing me right now is the um, tax portion of the MLS. So inside of the MLS, the Arizona um, Registered Multiple Listing Service, whatever we want to call that, mm -hmm. that the RMLS, what do you call it? I don't know, whatever. I'm not a licensed realtor, so I don't know, guys. It doesn't matter. Don't matter. Here's don't the matter. thing, guys. Do you think I partnered with Cody for his looks? No, I partnered with him because he has access to the MLS. So get a clue. All right. It's the only reason. It's the only reason. So Cody has access to the MLS, he, which gives him access to Monsoon, which are our tax records in Arizona. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Cool. Let's get into it. So, I mean, guys, literally, uh, oh, let me share. Oh, is this pulled up on there? It's not. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me fix that. Okay. Cool. So there we go. It's in it, in every state's going to be a little bit different, guys. Um, for those of you that are in Arizona, perfect. You're going to see exactly how to do it in Arizona. But a realtor in your market can do this. Um, <clears throat> some states will have a very similar, some will be a little bit different. So literally, I logged into my account. I clicked on this monsoon button and we could look at tax. We could look at MLS data and we could look at foreclosures. So we obviously, our goal here is to pull the pre, uh, pull that foreclosure data. And so obviously on batch leads, we already pulled it, but that's where I'm paying for it from. On here, I could just pull that information and get it essentially for free as a real estate agent. I, hate the, I, like, I hate the layout of the, all the MLS stuff. Like I look at this and it stresses me out. It stresses me out too. Yeah, it's like, it, yeah, for sure. So um, with... <clears throat> with monsoon and being able to pull it from here, you'll get all the data, but you still need to skip trace it. So you're still going to have to take that and take it over to batch leads. Uh, .io forward slash space. Okay. And so hold on, hold on. I, let me, let me get this straight. I thought there was a benefit to being a realtor for this list, but now I'm realizing there's no benefit because what you're telling me is I have to manually download the list on this stupid ass software. That's like super <laughs> cumbersome stressing. I'm looking at this thing and it's stressing me out already. Like, Batch makes, makes it so I press one button. It's like caveman stupid. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I press one list. It skip trace it right there inside of my deal. I can upload it to my dialer. I'm ready to go. This, I have to go through and manually search it. Yes. And then I have to download it. Then I have to upload it to batch leads. Then I have to skip trace it. 100%. Does I it do save me that. money doing it that way? I mean, you save on the list, but it's like, it's, it's such a little amount. It's not that much. How much are you talking like $7? Maybe. Yeah. Like, holy crap. Okay. Bucks, let's say, bro, bucks. let's go on the, let's go on the venture of saving $7. Let's show people how to save $7 <laughs> on a lame mass list. Let's go. If you want to get your next uh, two Slurpees for free from the 7-Eleven <laughs> down the street, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. I love it. This is great. Okay, so bear with me, guys, because I literally never do it. Because you, you go, you go through it. I'm going to talk over you while you figure this out. Okay, so here's here's what I think is interesting about this. I think that what we're going to do because we're going to pull the foreclosure list again, but we're going to do it through the MLS. And I'm curious to see if the list is actually different or if the list is going to end up being 1100 and whatever. Because one, you guys are going to learn that everybody you go to, you go to PropStream, you go to Batch Leads, you go to wherever you go. There's 20 other companies. I really don't care. They all get their data basically from the same place, except now PropStream saying that they're not actually using sold data. Bro, are we going to use PropStream for freaking comps ever again? There's no way, right? No. Now, we, now you. Ha I mean, you have to use Batch. You have to use Batch Leads. Or, or like we we got a new. I told all the students about the deal automator there, there that we're working on right now that has like all the comping all inclusive. Mm -hmm. But I look at that. I'm like, why would I ever use PropStream to comp ever again? They they're screwing the, the all the wholesaler base. It's like they don't care about wholesalers. They just care about realtors at this point. That was super weird. I thought I'm like, why would they take away one of their features? Like I, because, I thought that. You know, here's the thing, dude. Because the National Association of Realtors is lobbying against companies like PropStream and all these big companies. Fidelity, whoever it was that just bought um, PropStream, is a big wig. Um, retail real estate giant. 
They care about retail clients. We are not retail, right? We're yeah. wholesalers, we're investors. So what they're doing is they're gearing their clientele and they're shifting their focus to more retail people because it's more scalable for them. There's a larger upside. And so what they're doing is trying to purge the wholesalers from their from uh, PropStream. So guys, this is why we, uh, it's kind of funny how this all kind of coincided, but we had no idea PropStream was going to basically crap the bed on this, but we are going back to batch leads to comp our property. So batchleads.io forward slash pace. Yes, we do get sushi money. Um, there you go. All right. So what are we looking at? Did you find it? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's it. We're, we're pulling the County Maricopa. There is only 479 properties in here. Interesting, bro. And I could have a feature off. So somebody that's in Arizona, yell at me if I mess Ingrid, up. Ingrid is, Ingrid is a um, licensed realtor here. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that Ingrid's probably been pulling this list. I know we pull this list just through batch leads, but yeah. I'm curious. Let, let's download this list. I want to I want to see if you can do now the expired listing list. But I'll answer questions while you try and figure that out. Okay. Cody hasn't done that in a long time, guys. Okay. I haven't pulled an expired list from Monsoon in probably three years. This is, <laughs> we'll, let's, we'll see what he can come up with, guys. Let's see what he does. All right. If he can't do it, we'll do it next week. Okay. No big deal. Just try and figure it out for like two, three minutes. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go through. I'm going to see if there's any questions in here that we can answer. Brian Catalan says he's still using PropStream. So are we? We're buying our data from PropStream. We, they have good data sets on certain things, um, but we're definitely not comping using PropStream any longer. It was our go-to for comps. We're changing that up. I'm sorry, but you just got to um, switch it up. Now, pro we use PropStream. Yes, we do use PropStream. They have some data sets that we like over batch leads, like we'll pull a divorce list on prop stream, but we won't pull the divorce list on batch leads. So again, it's like, if I go to, I guys, you know what grocery store I'm, I'm loyal to whatever grocery store has the best thing that I'm looking for at that moment. Sometimes I, like I, here, here's the thing. I won't go to Walmart to buy peanut butter because Walmart doesn't have GIF fat, reduced fat. No joke. That's a, this is a legit real thing. I won't go to Walmart to buy peanut butter because they don't have GIF reduced fat. That's our favorite peanut butter. Okay. Somebody's going to talk shit about my peanut butter choice guaranteed, but the, I, I will go to target to buy my peanut butter, but I go to Walmart to buy other stuff. Okay. There's other things. So it's the same thing with prop stream and it's the same thing with batch leads, depending on the data set that we're focusing on. That is why we use it. And at the end of the day, prop stream is another $99 a month. I totally get that, especially for people that are brand new to the business. But again, why are you in here in Sunday service if you guys are not squatting up with each other and sharing prop stream accounts or sharing batch leads account? Shoot, I'll give you guys my batch. I'll give my students my batch leads account. Just don't be like Kelly Hanno and spend $1,000 without me knowing about it. <laughs> She's going to be like, Pace, I did, you, you did say. You, I could spend the money. I figured it out. You did? I, I, I'm going to reset it so it, it looks like I, I'm doing it for the first time. Nobody knows. Um, so Jared Frankham, really great question. He says, why would you even keep PropStream now? Even if you're a realtor, MLS as a realtor is all you need. PropStream went from elite software to worthless overnight. I, I agree with that for the most part. There are a couple of good data sets that we like, Jared. By the way, Jared, good to see you, man. I, we, we love you. So proud of what you're doing out there and um, providing a lot of value to a lot of people. So guys, if you need help from Jared Frankham, he's a TTP student, TTP student and a sub two student. Um, awesome guy. Awesome. Awesome guy. By the way, here's what I think we do. Cause we got some extra time. Let's pull the expired listing list in Arizona. I want you to go back to batch leads and we're going to take a vote on what state we should pull the foreclosures in. I'm going to spend some money, dog. Let's right. spend some money. Let's do it. You want to spend some money on some foreclosures? Let's spend some money on some foreclosures. Let's get Kelly Hanno's debit card in here. Let's freaking spend a thousand dollars on that debit card. She owes me a thousand bucks. <laughs> um, all right. So let's get, um, guys, if you are hyped and excited about this, this is what I want you guys to do. I, I want you guys to take a screenshot, throw it on, um, on Instagram stories, I want you guys to make a comment in the Creative Finance with Pace Morby Facebook group. Take a screenshot of this and go into the Facebook group and go, yo, Pace and Cody are dropping like thousands of dollars right now. This is wild. What we're going to be doing and why, am I, why do I want you to do that? I want you to do that because next week we are going to upload these lists and show you guys the script and actually walk through the process of reaching out to these sellers. Okay. 
So the more, the merrier. We're at 580 people tonight. That's more people that show up to Wholesale Hotline, y'all. That's amazing. Cody, you and me together beat out Jamil and, and Jerry Norton and Brent Daniels? How is that possible, dog? I mean, we've been doing this for, what, two over two years now? It's yeah, we've been doing it longer. <laughs> Okay, so what I want you guys to do is do us a favor tonight. Go into the Creative Finance with Pace Morby Facebook group and let other people know. Please, we want a 1,000 people here next week because we want you guys to collab with each other. And here's what I'll do. Tonight, we're going we're gonna to take a vote on um, extra locations. We're going we're gonna to go on and we're going to choose one location tonight for pre-foreclosures. And we're going to pull one more list and we're going to let you guys choose in the, in the side, Okay. You guys show up. We're going to deliver for you. Now, what I want next week, okay, what I want next week is I want you guys to do us a favor, and I want you guys to um, come back. And next week, whoever comes back, we're going to pull five extra locations of foreclosures and spend some extra money and give that list away because we genuinely want to see you guys doing deals with each other. And by the way, I don't want to buy any of these deals from you guys. All right. Cody and I are on a buying freeze. We got too many deals right now. That's not true. Just send them, just send them to like four or five of my students. That's, that's it. Go, go work with the students. Go work with the students. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Um, what do we got? We've got, what are you seeing in the side chat dog? I mean, I'm ready to pull these, uh, these expires. I figured it out. Okay. So. Pull the expires. Let's do it. All right. So here we are, everybody. Um, we are on the, you know, the MLS data here. Um, so listing type, I am actually going to put canceled in here too. And I'm going to give uh, a tip of advice to you guys. So a lot of people don't, uh, don't include pulling canceled listings in their data sets because they just think that, oh, they just didn't want to sell anymore. When I worked as a real estate agent, I got more listings from canceled than I did from expired because a lot of people don't reach out to the canceled, they reach out only to the expired. So uh, in, in a lot of cases, the, there's people that cancel the listing because they had to list the property too high because they don't have any equity, which would be what a great opportunity for a subject to opportunity. So um, I like to pull expired and canceled because there is opportunity to help both of those people. And they're in you know kind of a similar situation. So we have expired, we have canceled, and I'm literally just going to pull the last year because anything that expired or canceled within the last year that hasn't already sold, probably something there, probably an opportunity there. Um, they've already raised their hand once saying, Hey, I do want to sell. I canceled for some reason. I do want to sell. It expired for some reason. So we want to figure out why. Okay. So what you're saying to me is right now you're pulling a list of people that either canceled their listing with a realtor. Yep. Did you notice I said real turd? Yeah. Sorry. Cody is a real turd and my wife is a real turd as well. So somebody canceled with the realtor because maybe there was a, maybe a disagreement. Maybe it didn't sell. Maybe they changed their mind. Maybe they decided let's stay in the property. Maybe they lost their job and they couldn't qualify for the new purchase. There's a hundred reasons why somebody yeah. would cancel. Yep. They or and you're going to also pull the ones that have expired where they waited the whole amount, the whole six months, let's say, of the listing agreement and they let it expired. Those ones are like, oh, man, that's sad. We didn't sell our house. We really wanted to. We kept it on the market for full six months. So you're going to pull both data sets. Show us what you got. Show us what how many you got. You got. How many pull? Right, let's see. This is this is for all of uh, all of last year. Um, or actually, I. I mean, unless you want me to, Pace, I was going to just change it up and do the last 90 days. No, 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 no. Let's go hog wild, dog. Okay. We're, we're, we, let's go deep. Let's go balls deep. Okay. Perfect. So um, we'll do a price because we probably don't want to work a $22 million deal. No, no. Let's look at anything million dollar or less. Um, that was the kind of property I think I still have a chance with if I could talk to either one of you both about it. Um, you could, Robert, talk to one of the other sub two students, brother. Come on. 
I, I wish we had time. The only time I have, I have to work deals nowadays is with the students inside of live Zoom. That's really the only time I have to do that now. Yep. So we got 11,446 properties. Wait, how many? Oh, shoot, dude. I need to add in the county. We don't want shit in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, good point. Cody about to just spent way too much money, guys. How many? How many? Now it was going to be 11,000. Now we got 7,960. 7,900? That's a good list. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's shrink it down to like 5,000. Okay. Um, how do we, what do we, what, what data set do we, what, how do we adjust this? What do we change? By the way, push okay. Apple plus one more time. So it gets bigger. Just one more time. Okay. The Apple plus wasn't working for me. So I'm, I'm doing this. Oh my gosh. You're so archaic. <laughs> I don't use any of the commands. What do you think? You think, I think what we do is we go, we price. shrink the price down to 600. Yeah. I think, I mean, we could do the median, which is 450. Okay, let's do the median. That's that's I like that. That's what I, I, I like that too. Okay. So guys, median means the average price a house is selling for in a in a specific area. If you're in California, median house hold price is probably two million. Or I don't who knows. If you're in if you're in North Carolina, median household price is like four fifty, just like us. Um, if you are in New York, you know what's up. If you're in Ohio or Iowa, I I'm not sure if those are the same place or if Iowa is the state capital of Ohio. I'm not quite sure, but either way, I, I do know. I'm just joking. Your, your probably average sales price is 200 grand there. So in Phoenix, Maricopa County specifically, our average sales price is 450. In Denver, it's like 700 right now. So what do we come up with on this one? So now we have 4,307. Love it. Let's download it. Let's let, right. let's get let's pull that list. That's a good list. Let's let's pull that list and have our students reach out, reach out to that one. Okay, I need to that's zoom. a good one, dog. I need to zoom out a little bit. It's stressing me out. It's too close. Okay. All right. That's so, a good list, bro. Yes, it's great. Okay, why am I? So, guys, when people say stuff like "What's a list?", please send them to, to this. Um, Sunday service. All right. Please send them to the Sunday service because Cody's right now pulling the list. We're going to download it. He's going to take it over to batch leads. All right. And we're going to skip trace this list and we're going to give away 5,000 leads. 5,000 leads. There's a Cody. Would you say that there's probably 20 to 50 deals in that list right now? For sure. For sure. I mean, especially with creative, opportunities. I mean, there, there definitely is. I bet you, no joke. I think if you and I call down that list ourselves, just me, let's say me, you and Matt, no, nobody else, just me, you and Matt, not our team, just us. And we spent a week on that list. I bet you we could get 20 deals in a week on our, in our first week doing that list. Oh, for sure. Easy. Dennis Yasko says, man, batch is slow right now. Are you all on there right now? No. That's prop stream. All of prop streams clients are abandoning prop stream and running over to batch leads right now. I just pulled everything on there and it loaded pretty fast. I mean, we're, I mean, we're, we're live. So he's in New Jersey, bro. They don't have good internet. They haven't like figured it out over there. yet. Oh, the, you know, yeah, that's unfortunate. Probably move out of Jersey. Why do people live there? Why do you want to pay so much in taxes to live in a state that has super high taxes? The beautiful scenery, bro. The beautiful scenery. I guess so. <laughs> um okay so what are we thinking what do, are you downloading it right now and going over to batch leads because i'm thinking what we do is we pull one yeah. more foreclosure list tonight and i think i'm going to make that determination here in the next minute all right so here's what we, i can't take a vote on youtube which is why i like using air Meet a lot more than i like using youtube but whatever we're going to use youtube tonight here's what i'm thinking I want, it, I want it to be an area where our team is pretty good at so we can help out if needed. You think we should pull something in the, the Carolinas? All right, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Everybody throw in the area you want me to pull a foreclosure list in. Okay, we're going to spend Cody's paycheck right now. And we're going to buy, buy a list for you guys on Batch Leads, Okay. And I want you guys to fill it up and I'm going to see what I see the most. And I'm going to choose three and then we're going to pause. And whatever those three are that I've seen the most, 
We're going to then choose those three, and then you guys have to vote on those three. And whatever one I see the most out of those three, that's going to be the one for today. Okay? Boston, South Carolina, PA. Come on. You guys are all, you guys are slow. What are you guys using? Prop stream right now? <laughs> all right. Fill it up, guys. Fill it up. Fill it up. In a lot of Texas. And Pennsylvania, to be honest. Ooh, Vegas. That's a good one. Because I'm thinking like it's an area we, you and I probably want to be a buyer on. I think that if we buy the list, wouldn't it make sense for us to actually get first shot at the deal that gets um, locked up? I mean, that would be that would be great. The, here's the reality is, bro, we've been pulling hundreds of thousands of dollars of lists in the last couple of years for people, and they never sell the deals to us. No. They're like, oh, I got it. Bro, here's what's funny. I'm at this meetup last night with Jerry Norton, Cody Sperber, Carlos Reyes, Jamil Damji, you know, all the people, right? And we're doing all the photos as everybody's leaving. And somebody comes up to me and goes, bro, that North Carolina list that you guys pulled for us, man, I did like 12 deals out of that list. Thank you so much. I'm like, where, where were we in that equation? He's like, oh, I didn't know you wanted to do deals in that area. I'm like, I wouldn't have pulled the list, bro. I wouldn't have pulled the list. Anyway, um, so guys, give us a shot at them. DM us when you get these houses under contract because you will get these under contract. Um, ooh, okay. All right, I'm seeing a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of Texas. Yeah, here, here's what I'm, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock it up into three places. We're going to go Texas. We're going to go. I'm seeing a decent amount of Florida's. Let's do Florida. Texas, Florida. Texas, Florida, and um, Jared Frankham is saying Charlotte. Let's do Charlotte. Okay. Te in Texas, we're going to do DF uh, DFW. Okay. So Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, Charlotte, North Carolina, and who? Where should, where should we go in Florida? What what city? Um, Orlando is probably the biggest one that would probably have the most opportunity. Yeah, we could do that. All right, so the three we're going to vote on, guys, I don't want you voting on anything else but these three. We're going to vote on uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas. We're going to vote on Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're going to vote on the um, Florida, Orlando, Florida deal. All right? Orlando, Florida. Okay. Rhode Island. Come on, dog. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> Rhode Island? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I can't even catch up to the bottom of the comments. Orlando, auto Orlando. Orlando. Jared Frank, I'm trying to comment Charlotte just 10 times himself to... Genius. He's genius. I like it. Got Florida, Orlando. A lot of Charlotte, too. Somebody says Tucson. Who's going to say like an outlandish one? Who's going to say like Fargo, North Dakota? You might as well have said Fargo, North Carolina, or North Dakota if you said Tucson, guys. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, um, I'm I'm gonna scroll up right now. Jared's got Charlotte, DFW, Charlotte, a lot of. You know what? Here's here's the thing. Here's what here's that why I'm gonna choose Charlotte. Char Charlotte's the winner. So let's pull up batch leads and let's pull up Charlotte. I'm mm -hmm. choosing Charlotte, and here's here's the reason why is because Jared Frankham does a lot for this community, and I want to show Jared Frankham some love. So let's show Jared Frankham some love, um, and let's pull Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, so let's go ahead and do the lazy Cody method again. We're going to search Charlotte, North Carolina. We're going to jump over to our quick filter. Again, for those that just hopped on, we're on batchleads.io forward slash pace. Um, when you go over to the left section, you have your dashboard, your list search. That's where we're at, guys, is on our list search function. Um, and when... Once you pull this up, 
and I cl you click on your quick filter, you're going to have your pre foreclosures. There's not really that many, 274. Can we pull the whole state? Um, we can. Let's see what that comes up with. Bro, I think we've officially made it. Look at this comment. I, we got scammers coming in here, bro. We've officially made it. Love face XYZ says online strip <laughs> without clothing. This is, we've made it. We freaking made it. Thank you so much. This is crazy. Uh, that's funny. Now we have 2,600 pre foreclosures in the state of North Carolina. Okay. So we want to pull that. Yeah, let's pull it. Pull the whole, pull the whole freaking state, dude. Let's pull there the it. There it is, and then you guys can just sort it out for based on wherever you want out there. Um, Bro, pull no. the full state of foreclosures, all of North Carolina. We're gonna pull the whole list. We're gonna give that away, and we guys, we want an opportunity to buy those deals. But here's what we're gonna do next week on Sunday service. We are gonna pull five more cities for you guys at the very beginning, and then we're gonna show you guys how to load these lists into a dialer or how to call these on your own. We're going to give you guys a script and we're going to give you guys more opportunity to squad up with each other to start working on this. All right. Let's see. Love it. Uh, Juan Va Va Varela says, will zero to hero students get access to this list too? Bro. Yeah. Come on. Man. Come on. All right. All right. You pull, did you just pull it? I'm, pull, I'm pulling it. Sorry, I got I got distracted. Oh, so you got hyped up when somebody yeah, started getting, talking about too, Tucson? Getting too excited. Yeah, when someone, yeah, talking about Tucson. Um, select list. I got, what did I, did I do a Sunday service list already? Oh, no, we're going to, we're going to call this uh, North Carolina pre-foreclosures. And so for those of you, again, that have not, use this system your list is like your filing cabinet your tags below here is like when you open up a filing cabinet the individual tags when you open that up so um i am going to sunday service pre foreclosures uh, i'm going to just create a new tag because why not sunday service North Carolina pre foreclosure. I, I better call my wife and make sure I have money in the account, dog. Like I'm, you, you're freaking spending my, all my money. <laughs> well, we'll find out if it bounces or not live. Live. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys. So here's what we want to do. Um, I'm going to give you guys a link in the side chat. It's a link to the free Facebook group. It's Facebook, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash creative finance with Pace Morby. Here's what I want you guys to do. I'm going to do a screen share work while Cody's pulling this. And I'm going to show you guys what I want you to do. Okay. This is important for us because we want a lot of people to show up next week. Um, let's see. Chrome tab. Where's the Chrome tab? There we go. Boom. All right, so check this out. We got 37,000 members in here. 37,000 members. What's on your mind? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a little screenshot in here. And I'm going to, I think I can do it that way. Hold on a second. Let's do, let's do it this way. Add photos and video. Um, come on. Desktop. Which one? We had one that was like 580, 594 people came in today. Here we go. 594 people came in to get $4,000 of free data. This was verified that it was spent in my batch leads.io forward slash pace account. Next week on Sunday service. You see this, by the way? Yep. Next week on Sunday service, Cody Barton. I was like, where's Cody? Did he get kicked out of the Facebook group? <laughs> Cody Barton and Pace will be pulling. I like how you're talking in third person. I know. <laughs> Such a douche. <laughs> we'll be pulling more lists and showing you exactly how to start working sub two deals with existing support 
of sub to students. It would behoove you. Oh, yes. It would behoove you. How do I spell it? I, don't, I think it's two O's. Yeah. It would behoove you <laughs> to join us next week on Sunday service, 7 p.m. Arizona it, time. Arizona. If, if someone's like, oh, no, it's mountain. I'm like, yeah, it's mountain right now. And then it's going to be Pacific. <laughs> so it's Arizona. Whatever Arizona time is, that's what you guys need to pay attention to. Yes. And somebody's going to say, watch, someone is going to ask, how do I get the list? Right? You get the list by linking in with other sub two <laughs> students. People are commenting in the section, behoove you. <laughs> Al says, behoove you. We are paying you to network with each other. Stop being knuckleheads. Boom, boom, boom. All right, awesome. That's a, that's, so, guys, do us a favor. We would love for you guys to make a post similar to that. And just talk about, hey, guys, come in next week. Come in next week. Come in next week. Okay? Let me make this a little announcement. Mark has an announcement. Okay, Brandon cool. Behoof. Behoof. <laughs> behoof. All right, so we got the list? Um, oh, yeah. Let me, let me see if it's done. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the hopper. I got to see if it's ready. All right, let's see what's in the hopper. It's a so big we're list. Back, we're back over to properties, and we are going to exclusively look for Sunday service North Carolina pre foreclosures. There was 2,000 and something, so we're just going to check and see what we got. So let's select all. There we are. There is our 25 or 2,532 pre foreclosures in the state of North Carolina. Let's go ahead and skip trace this. All right, so um, are you ready to have more money spent though? Yeah, let's do it. Spend another right. 250 bucks. All right. Recharge my card. Need it. Three, just throw like 500 bucks in there. Oh, oh I, I put, two, you know, we're good. Well, I'll, I'll add it after. Okay, cool. Sunday service, North Carolina, three, four closures. Do let's skip trace, bro. There's right. no way it's this easy. Yeah, I mean that's this. It's just it's easier to do this. Obviously, people can, uh, people can you know use monsoon. Sorry, I just saw a funny comment. Cody's dogs disagree. They say it be woof. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are, are my dogs, by the way. <laughs> You can't control those little shih tzus, man. Those shih tzus are intense. <laughs> um, okay, so we, I think we're giving away about a total of like four thousand dollars of stuff. Like this is legit money that we've spent, guys. So we're gonna give all you guys four thousand dollars of stuff. Are we gonna give it to non-students, Cody? I don't know. You tell no, me. No, we're not. We're gonna give it. We're gonna have the students give it to non-students. So if you guys ah. are absolute knuckleheads and you're not willing to go and ask a sub two student for the list and network and be with them, then you're not going to get the list. It's 4,000 bucks. Reach out to a sub two student, become friends with them, get it from the students. All right. We're basically trying to get you to recruit underneath them so that you guys can work with them and see firsthand how this stuff is done. All right. Um, yeah, I've been saying lately, I've been like, Oh, you must've sneezed during that part. I said that, but I'm just sleeping. Uh, no, no. Yeah. He's just, he's just joking. All right. So, um, next week, Sunday service. What, did everybody have a good time tonight? Did you have a good night time tonight, Cody? Yeah, I had fun. Did you I love going back to the basics. I mean, this is what, this is what the people need. People get too caught up in like the, what's the magic thing? What's the magic thing I need to do to figure this mystical business out? It's, it's just the basics. It's like it's, it's next like, week on Sunday service. The mystical, magical, easy button. Yeah, when to push it. We'll have a thousand people on. 
<laughs> oh, that's so good. But it's true. Um, all right, guys. So Sunday service, we are going to be uploading all of this stuff to a Google Drive. And sometime tomorrow, I will have Melissa send it out to all sub two students, all mastermind students, all zero to hero students, all flip me students will get it. And if you are a non sub two student, where do you go? Guys, where do you go to get access to this list? You go to the Facebook group. We just threw it in, threw it in the side chat. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash creative finance with Pace Morby. It's the only Facebook group that's going to give you $4,000 of leads specifically catered to sub two deals. Okay. So sub two deals come from three places. They come from every list, by the way, high equity lists, low equity lists. It doesn't matter. We've gotten sub two deals on every single list. I promise you that, but the highest Likelihood of getting a sub two deal as quick as possible, if that's what you're focusing on, um, is going to be foreclosures, expired listings, canceled listings. It's going to be those types of high pain points. Um, low equity is another one. All right. Ooh, really good stuff. All right. So creative finance with Pace Morby Facebook group, go in there, get connected and we will sub two challenge students. I'm sorry. Sub two challenge students. You do not. You, I'm not your mentor. It's a challenge. I'm not your mentor. I'm not giving you anything free. I'm so sorry. I really didn't even want to do the sub two challenge for a long time. And then we finally came up with something I really liked, but I really do not. Um, we're not going to be giving you guys any lists. I'm very, very sorry. I feel like we gave you guys too much for, for what that pro program already was. So, so link in with existing sub two students, please link in with sub two students. All right. Um, this was the best Sunday night I've had in a long time. Best way to say, spend a Sunday night, Jason Moreford. Good to see you, brother. That's awesome. Um, where are you pulling the list from batch leads? That is that that's so crazy to me. Cody's like, I'm out, bro. Where have you been helping hands? We've been here for an hour and 17 minutes, literally pulling the list. <laughs> We've said batchleads.io forward slash pace 100 times. We went through batch leads. <laughs> this is why people don't create content. <laughs> Legit. I'm So I'm on this plane yesterday with all these guys. And there's like two guys that are like, I am not doing YouTube ever again. I'm not creating content anymore. I have been so like worn down by people that come into lives like an hour late, two hours late, and then literally go, where are you pulling the list from? Bro, helping hands. Where you been, bro? Where you been, man? I've been trying to help you out. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right. So, guys, we will see you on next week's Sunday service where we not only pull another five cities of pre-foreclosure data on batchleads.com for, or batchleads.io forward slash pace. Yes, we do get paid for that. I think it's like five bucks. I got to verify that. Um, and... I guarantee you are all of the sushi I ate this year was paid for with that code. So thank you for the sushi guys. We appreciate it. You do get more, you get more benefit of using the code than we get paid for. And that's why we like pushing the code. All right. So, uh, batchleads.io forward slash pace. That's where we pulled the list. If you guys want to go pull your own list next week, what are we going to be doing? Cody? I don't know. You tell me just kidding. I, I was listening to that part. We, we're going to be pulling more lists. We're going to be talking about how to actually talk to a pre-foreclosure seller. And it's, we're going to see if we can get our special guest, Mr. Matthew Beard, to come on and talk about that as well. Love it. I think what we should do is we should get Dan Quijano. He's going to be running the nightly dial for the sub two students. Ooh. I think we get Dan Quijano in and we, him and Matt, maybe do a little role play on foreclosures, dude. What do you think if we do some role play? We're going to do some role play. That's what we're doing. We're doing role play between Matt and Dan Quijano, Sunday service. Dan Quijano right here. You guys see him on the screen. He's like, let it go. Guys, we will see you next week on Sunday freaking service. We out. Oh.